G'day guys, Buck, Rafa, and the Gidgee Gorilla up in a uh, very hot North Queensland. <laughs> we just knocked the lawn, a mum's lawn over, and tell you what, sweating like bloody pedophiles at a Wiggles concert. Dead set. Just the humidity, it's just. Yeah, yeah, it's humidity's double, kicked in. It's, it's not Brisbane. so much the heat, it's the, it's the humidity. You've noticed it from Brisbane, mate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the humidity. The further north you get, guys, the more humid it gets. So it's yeah. steamy at the moment. Always is around Christmas time. Yeah. And what a great thing to do when it's a million degrees and a thousand percent humidity, have a cook up <laughs> <laughs> over the weather. We never learn. Remember the South African one we did? Oh. That was around Christmas time too. It was. It was. A and Christmas we had the Webbers and that under here. Anyway, we're at Mum's place on the little out in the little bloody <laughs> cooking hey, space, hey, yeah. the little patio, or whatever. It was not much room here, but we're going to do a bit of different stuff today, guys. Bit of a cook up. Ken's just cranked up the new Weber, which is pretty new. It's only had a couple of cooks. Bought my son last Christmas. Used yeah. it myself last Christmas. Hasn't been used since. Yeah, so it's yeah, it's a year old and been used about twice. But anyway, it's a it's a nice Weber, kettle Weber. And you're doing a, a big pork in there, mate, this afternoon? Yeah, ro roast pork first, and then we'll do wings. Right, -o, so we've got a bit of different stuff today, guys. Everyone loves a good cook-up. We're going to use a couple of different uh, pretty good items. One's the Rafa said it's too hot out here. I'm going in with Nan in the aircon. So Gidgey's going to do a nice big uh, pork shoulder. Yeah, pork shoulder or whatever. Get the crackle going in the Weber. And then after the, the pork's done, we've got to cook that. Um, Mum got it for Christmas, but Mum always buys too much stuff yeah. for Christmas. So we've got to we've got to cook it up. We've also got a beautiful what's it called a beef. Fillet, beef, rib fillet, big whole rib fillet. A, a full rib fillet worth yeah. about 90 bucks. So we're going to do that in Nudie's Traeger here, the offset smoker or the yeah. pellet smoker. Yeah, yeah. We're going to crank the Traeger up. We'll give you a run through that soon. I've never cooked on the Traeger before. No. Nudie's, do, Nudie's done ribs in there before for me, beef ribs, and they come out really, really good. Yeah. And he did a brisket the other day and sent me a photo of it, and he said it did a 12-hour brisket and come up beautiful yeah, look good in the Traeger so we'll give you a run over the Traeger we'll give you a look at the new Weber too but I'll tell you what one of the best backyard cooking devices Ken has got to be the old Weber kettle yeah. the, the Weber go kettle. Old smokers but you can do anything in the Weber yeah whether you use kettle cone stank method normal like we're doing yeah. for the pork um, you can do anything you can do on these I think if anyone so. said you've only got one item to cook on for the backyard or whatever, I'd go, I'd go a, a Weber yeah. kettle barbecue every day. You can yeah. do anything in there, guys. You can do it like a barbecue. You yeah, can you smoke, can smoke it. low and slow, all that yeah, sort of stuff. Yeah, you can do so. everything. It's, you just got to use use your imagination a bit. Yeah. So we've got a, a beautiful rib fillet to do in there. What else are we going to do? Chicken wings after there. You're going to knock some wings with up. With a kettle cone. Going to do the kettle cone yeah. in, the, in the Weber. And we're going to do some chicken wings. And we went into the barbecues galore this morning at the domain here in Townsville. And you've got some jungle juice or something that's called. Yeah, jungle juice and another one that we'll show you later. That's Which is a nice... Uh, raspberry uh, chipotle sauce. Yes, yeah, so to base good. the chicken wings with yeah. raspberry chipotle sauce and uh, this jungle juice, which is a, like a, a sweet a, a, a sweet chilli type um, bloody sauce. It's beautiful, it the flavour yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah, we'll give you a look at that anyway. That's not all, we've got some smoked Kranksky that we yeah. got at, at Lambert's this morning, some smoked Kranksky, gonna do a couple of smoked sausages in the um, Traeger as well. So in the meantime, beer skis, <laughs> beer ski. we're, on the, we're on the Asahis, we'll show you. We've got a good little setup over here. Ken bought his son Nutty uh, a little esky on wheels there. We went to Dan Murphy's this morning, old Uncle Dan's, and we got some Asahis. Ken's into the Japanese beers. So we've got a carton of Asahis and some leftover uh, can so we'll get in and we'll get stuck into it, eh? Righto, righto, guys. Going to give you a rundown on Nudie's Traeger. I was going to get Nudie to do it. He's on the camera, refuses to get on camera. So first things first, Gidgey's going out to check on the Weber. We're nearly ready to put the pork on. We'll show you that. Get Ken to talk you through how he does the pork so he gets the crackle nice. Uh, at the end of the day, got to dry it out and get the sold on there, as you probably know. The old fly thing, <laughs> it comes in handy up here. First things first, another Asahi. 
in Nutty's new bloody esky that his dad gave him for Christmas. How good is this? It's on wheels. It's pretty good. We got some Asahis in there. Rob the Wanderer, if you're watching. We've even got, even got a hard solo in there, mate, but we're not going to have that one yet. I'm going to grab an Asahi. What are you having, mate? Not yet. Can you having another one? Yeah. Right. I'll give you a Ken Lois the 500 mils. The old bloody half tonners. It's even got one of those things. You don't really need them anymore. They're all twist tops. But anyway, that's, that's a bloody great little esky, mate. Great for out here, having a barbecue. Let's give you a run through the Traeger. You got this last Christmas, mate? Yeah. Last Christmas. Here's the Traeger here, guys. Naughty if I bloody stuff anything up, let me know. Yeah. But basically, it's a, a pellet smoker, mate, is what they are. Yeah. It uses pellets. We'll show you those in a minute. Here it is here. Big rack down the bottom there rack up there which is probably for chicken wings and stuff like that whatever you want, whatever you want up there so there's a chimney there she's on wheels it's about um a bit over two grand so they're not cheap guys these traegers and they're a very popular thing we're in the barbecue shop this morning barbecues galore there was a guy in there getting some pell uh, some uh traeger pellets i oh, see so you got a traeger mate you go, yeah mate yeah going home to do a cook up so they're very very popular and basically this is the hopper here on the end We'll throw some more. We're going to use cherry, cherry pellets. So we're almost out there. There's the hopper down there. And you can fill that right up, Nutty. Yep, right. If you're doing a, guys, if you're doing a big low and slow, um, you know, say a 12 hour cook like you did with your brisket the other day, yep. you probably fill that right up. It's, it's electronic, guys. It plugs in, runs off 240 volts. And the good thing about the display here, you turn it on, and you can run it in Fahrenheit or Celsius. We're running it in Fahrenheit. Um, normally, if the Mike, if you're watching over there in Colorado, Johnny Wilcox in West Virginia, we normally run in uh, Celsius here. But when we, a lot of the people are kind of catching on from you, Yanks, when it comes to low and slow and, and cooking, a lot of us start working in um, in Fahrenheit, especially when it comes to slow cooks. But if you're going to do a fast cook in the oven, we we still work in Celsius there. But and Nutty, when it comes to low cooks, we, we talk about, I'll oh, put it on two, 200, 225, we're talking about Fahrenheit for low and slow. Yep. Uh, I, I don't even know what that is in Celsius, to tell you the truth. But um, And the good thing about this, Nutty was saying, it runs off the, the modem here in the house, it runs on Wi-Fi. So you're saying, if you're at the pub having a beer, yep. you can you can, if you've got a low and slow going on, you can check from the pub in town, and on your phone yeah, and yeah. it tells you how your temperature's doing and all that type of stuff mate yeah yeah it runs off an app um, there's a Traeger app that you can download so alright well there you go there's an actual Traeger app you can get on your phone and it's not like Bluetooth where you've got to be nice and close to it because it runs through Wi-Fi through the, the house Wi-Fi you can actually run the, you can be right away you can be bloody 10 mile away and uh, see what your slow and low and slow is doing so we're going to do up a beautiful big whole rib rib fillet not just one piece of rib fillet a whole rib fillet in this we're going to put it on soon because we don't want to cook it too fast we want to get it as tender as we can so we're going to do probably a four hour cook mate yep on that put a rub over it do a four hour cook we're also going to do slow cook some um some kranskis or whatever nudie has got the app on his phone there yeah don't know if that'll so come up or not so that's it there if so that comes up there. and um through this app you can actually adjust the temperature as well you can't turn it on but you can shut it down and keep the temperature and then set it to keep warm as well so if it finishes cooking uh while you're out you can set it to keep warm or keep it hot so you can do that remotely yeah remotely all through the phone yeah. you can adjust the temperature and everything that's just unbelievable isn't it the bloody the technology now like who 20 years ago if someone said oh you can sit at the pub and um cook your barbecue from the pub what you then people go piss off how do you do that well there you go guys the traeger app I'm a bit boggled with all this type of stuff. I, I don't know. I don't know if I trust that. I like to see what I'm doing when I'm cooking. But anyway, there's the Traeger. I've never cooked on this before, but we're going to give it a go. Nutty's home now. 
just come home from uh, seeing a few mates, so he'll be able to supervise us. Tell you what I'll do, mate, while you're on my camera, mm -hmm. is I'll uh, throw some more pellets in the oh, smoker no, without definitely. tripping over the cord there. I was looking at um, barbecue shop this morning, guys. How long's one of these bags last, mate? Oh, mate. Ages? Bag, yeah, a while. It only took a bag for a, about an 18-hour brisket, so. A whole bag? Just a ba whole bag, yeah. Oh, wow, so, so 18 you, hours, you uh, one bag. Cooking, a lot of that, cooking out of it. Yeah, but that's um, that's basically, if you're doing a three or four airy, that was about $39 a bag. You can buy them in bags of four from barbecues galore and get it a bit cheaper. Oh, these are the cherry ones. Yeah. You've never seen it. They look like chook pellets. Don't they? Exactly like bloody chook pellets. And that's um, that's the Traeger pellets there, guys. Comes in a big bag. What are they? A 20 ki 10 kilo bag, something? I reckon that'll be enough. That'll do. Throw that in the hopper. And as we're cooking, mate, once we get the meat on and we and we set set our temperature and all that, that automatically feeds, because it's run off 240, yep. that feeds into into the Traeger as it's required. So if it starts burning down a bit, feeds more pellets in. So it's just set and forget. Mm -hmm. How easy is it? So anyway, you've done a brisket. I know you've done, done some ribs last time I was down. They come up beautifully. Yep. The ribs, the ribs were spot on, mate. Yep. So it's a good bit of gear, isn't it? It really is. Anyway, I'll stop jibber jabbering. Next time you see the Traeg is when we're putting the whole rib fillet in there. And I think the next thing we're gonna do is watch Gigi put the, the roast pork into the Weber. Righto guys, we're ready. To, the Traeg is down to 225 Fahrenheit. We wanna do a, a slow cook. We're gonna cook it deep. That is a whole rib fillet. You gotta sell a kidney to buy that one. So a whole rib fillet there. Put a little bit of olive oil on there, some salt and pepper. And Nutty had some of this in the fridge. Hardcore carnivore black beef seasoning. So we're gonna throw some of that on. This comes up all right, Nutty, eh? Yeah. Black beef seasoning, come in nice and close, mate. Watch me season her up. What's this dude, just put a nice crust on, eh? Yeah. Right, eh? Get all of it, you've missed. Oh, I've missed some. Good thinking, mate. Don't be shy, you reckon? Yeah. Okay. Righto. Oh, yeah, okay. Righto, let's go over. Traeger's down now, guys. She's on 223, so it's coming up the temp. Oh, listen to her. Bottom rack, mate. Yep, lovely. Right in the middle. There she goes. Right, oh, see you in a couple of hours. Yeah, so you can see over here, it's gone down to 194, so that'll come back up to 225 for a nice slow cook on that beautiful bloody beef fillet. And Ken's nearly ready to put the pork in the Weber. All right, got the pork here. Basically just olive oil and tons of salt. I put about three layers on. Uh, Weber's ready to go, it's up to temp. Hot as, and it'll get you a nice, nice crackle. So you pat the pork down first, mate, with some paper towel and that, get yeah, it nice and dry, dry, and then a bit of olive oil. Salt it in the fridge. You can put it in overnight if you want. It really helps the crackle. Yeah. But this has been in about an hour. And then salt, heaps of bloody olive oil, and she's ready to go. This is on, this Weber, she's cranked up at the moment, guys, and you need it hot, yeah. as you said, for the crackle. It's on 250 degrees at the moment, Celsius, which is about 500 Fahrenheit, so she's nice and hot, mate. Yeah. Right, are ready? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, that's what you want to hear. The sizzle right. as you put her on. Ready, go. See her in an hour and a bit, hour 20. Yeah. And Rotate you... the lid every 20 minutes, I do, about 90 degrees. And that saves uh, hot spots forming on, yeah. the, on the thing, mate. Because your heat obviously comes out here, so just move it around and it just... So I have to do it, but it's good. What, every, after every beer, a, turn, a quarter turn. Yeah, so every <laughs> 10 minutes. Speaking of beers, it's beer time. Hey, we're not gonna um, be able to wait hours and hours for that meat to cook, so we've got some Barossa double smoke crank skis from Lambert's here in Townsville today. Nice and quick. Righto. We'll get a couple of crank skis on the top shelf. 
Smoke them up. These will be an entree. Come out. Oh, no. Where the All the sausages. Ken's getting a quick piggy. Oh, look at the smoke in there, too. Beauty. Cherry smoke. Okie doke. Beer time. Righto guys, we're six Asahis deep. I just cracked the sixth one. I think it's bloody Kranksky time. It's been five and a bit beers. I reckon the Kranksky's are right. I know they're right because I just pulled one off the thing. We had a taste test and they're bloody beautiful. And we're gonna wash them down. Found these sauces the other day. Ros's son, Josh, gave me a packet of these for Christmas and they're Fanglehorn sauces. This one's a jalapeno one. And I'll tell you what, they're made in Cairns. They're Aussie made, they're from Cairns. And as soon as I can get up the Cairns, I'm gonna go into Fanglehorns. I'm gonna find out and hopefully do a YouTube clip on them. Cause that, some of the sauces are next level. They got sauces and rubs. The Harbonero one guys, has in it got some kick. This one's the jalapeno one. Me and Gigi just dunked a bit of the bloody uh, the Kranksky in there and it is very very nice even Ken said that's a nice thing so let's get in there ready here we go three and a half Kranksky's because we've already tried one they be in the smoker for oh I don't know hour and a half or so five beers right oh, down she goes this is going to be an entree for the main course, the roast pork, and Gigi's putting chicken wings on soon. And we've got the uh, the rib fillet in there, but the old Kranksky's, boy oh boy, how good do they look? Let's get into them. Righto, here we go. These Kranksky's guys, bloody beautiful. Tell you what, the, um, the Traeger's done a good job. It's got a nice crispy skin, and they're just absolutely beautiful. In the old fangle horn jalapeno dip. Mmm. Boy, oh boy. Those double smoked Kranskis are next level. That is, the, the flavours of that are amazing. Fangle horn, I've never heard of it until the other day. I got some for Christmas, guys. And when I read the label, made in cans, they do all different sorts of sauces. So if you ever see that fangle horn, they do rubs too apparently. I'm going to check this shop out next time I'm up in cans. Handcrafted in cans, Australia. All natural, 150 mil. Heat, 4 out of 10. So that one's, if you don't like really hot chilli, that one there's very, very nice. The Harbonero one, guys, I'll tell you what, that gets you sweating, it really does. They got so many different sauces and rubs, it's not funny. Fanglehorn, Cairns, you beauty. Right, hey, Gidge, let's get into these, eh? For the earth. <laughs> Easy. Give me some sausage, Dad. What a chicken wings going in. Try and get them in quick before we lose heat. In they go. That beef is just about ready. We're just going to baste it now. What are we basting it with, Gidge? Uh, butter, garlic, thyme, 
Rosemary. Salt and pepper. That's it. Rosemary. And rosemary. And rosemary. Yeah. Rosemary's your brush. Give her a baste. Beauty. Oh, ho. Already in 10 minutes because the internal temp's medium well at the moment. Yeah. All right, right Gigi. Here we go. Ready Forks go. ready. Look at that. Oh, ho, ho. That is good crackle, mate. Look at that. Nice. Hello guys, beef's coming off. Okay. We've cranked the temperature up now. We're gonna finish those chicken wings off. Hey guys, quick one. Got the light on, starting to get late afternoon now. Beef's come up beautiful. We got that resting at the moment. Pork's off, it's resting. The chicken wings we did for a little while on uh, 225 Fahrenheit, we've cranked that right up to 375 now. 375 Fahrenheit. This bloody Traeger is absolutely cranky now and these chicken wings are only, they're really crisping up now. We're about to do a, a quick base. Nutty's in doing a, uh, what's he doing? A buffalo sauce. Nutty's doing a buffalo, parmesan. buffalo parmesan sauce on the stove. And, have a look at that. Those wings are absolutely amazing. So just don't think the Traeger's for, for slow cooking and, and smoking and the uh, 12 hour cooks. It can do that. If you want to do a quick, like a steak or something too, like a nice tomahawk, this thing will do it. Absolutely amazing. These things kick ass, they really do. Anyway, I reckon we can drop another beer before we get these chicken wings basted. <laughs> They're ready guys, they're coming off. They're going to be dunked in buffalo sauce. Two different sauces. Buffalo sauce and jungle juice. Slow them down, Gigi, come on. Shut up. Done. Done. Rappers come out and say, come on dad, give me a bit of beef please. Mm. That beef's beautiful. It's beautiful and tender. If I got to be honest, that's medium, medium at best I reckon. I'm a well done man. But, very nice. Chicken wings, the buffalo chicken wings. Nudie did that buffalo sauce in the kitchen. Very, very nice. Mm. We did the other half in that jungle juice. It's like a sweet honey chili thing. It's called jungle juice. You get it at um, barbecues galore, guys. Those chicken chicken wings cook through beautifully. Wow, we someone's down here waiting for me to drop something. Can't mate, too spicy. Oh yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Chicken wings are next level. The beef's beautiful and tender. Wanna be for 80 bucks for a bloody rib fillet roll. And I didn't get to try the pork. I don't eat pork, guys. But I didn't even get to try a bit of pork crackle because it's got it got smashed. So Gigi's nailed the pork crackle in the Weber. <coughs> that is next level. Find out 
Slightly out of naughty how he did that buffalo sauce. That is like beautiful, got a beautiful flavour to it. Absolutely beautiful flavour. The beef is sensational. Anyway, mmm. Wow, we can't beat her. That Traeger, I'll give it a thumbs up. Wanna be good for $2,000, but you can cook anything in that. Absolutely anything. The beef come up well. Don't know how uh, roast pork could go in there. I suppose if you cranked it up high, it could do a roast pork. You saw how the one come out of the Weber. Oh. Absolutely next level. Anyway guys, welcome to 2024. It's not 2024 yet. It's only a couple of days after Christmas, so by the time you see this, it'll be 2024. Hope you've had a good new year. Let us know what you want me to do for a cook up. You want to see more on the Traeger? Want to see me come down to Townsville, do more on the Traeger with Nutty? And I'll tell you what, that beef is sensational. I'll tell you what the star of the show was. Those double smoked Kranskis. <laughs> they were next level. I'll tell you what, these chicken wings aren't far behind it. Catch you later. Enjoy your year, guys. We'll see you again for some more cook-ups, eh? Raph is going, come on, Dad, give me something to eat. Too spicy for you, mate. Take care, be good to each other. See you on the next cook-up, eh? See you, guys.